on this episode of Glam Fair. We actually have a band coming in. Hello. We really want to merge into the mainstream. I'm the one that's more comfortable, like showing my chest area, a little bit of legs. I am furious. I love you, baby. Love you. Danny is my boyfriend, and we just moved in together. We're just butting heads on certain things. You just don't go in my closet. This is ridiculous. We should come up with a song for the Glam Factory. When you come to the factory. What's going on? The fairies are not supposed to solicit my clients in any sort of way. Never do that to me again. I love the Spice Girls. They're like my version of the Beatles. I went to their reunion yeah, concert. I was front row. Ginger <gasps> really? Spice touched my hand. Yeah, it was really, really cool. I was going insane. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hey, what's Hi, going Danny. on? Hello. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. I just wanted to help Lex up with her stuff and wear a carrot on her own. It was so sweet. Danny is my boyfriend. We've been dating for four months, and we just moved in together. I cannot believe I found a guy in the tri-state area that does not have a white BMW, slam hoagies in his mouth, in his mother's kitchen, right next to his bedroom, and isn't a juice head. It's a shock. I'm not letting go of this one. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be bringing my last box of clothes in and my cross trainer. You ready? I don't think we really have room for like a cross trainer. I mean, you have all your, you have your clothes and stuff. But babe, I put all my stuff in storage, like you said, and all I have is a little tiny weight machine. You're probably not gonna notice it. I probably won't. I love you, baby. Love you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Bye, bye. bye See you guys later. Bye. So. Well, I hope you enjoyed your trip to Cloud9. Whatever. How's everything going? It's good. Yeah. It's really good. I mean, he's just, like, so clean and so organized, and he cleans up everything, and he does my laundry, and he folds Aww. my laundry, and I just don't know, like, is it normal for a guy to clean that much? Yeah, I've met a lot of guys who were like clean. Well, they were all gay, but. But the thing is, is like he actually tried to clean up my makeup and he doesn't realize that there's a method to my madness yeah. and I like things organized a certain way. No one messes with my makeup. It's like flirting with death. I don't understand what's so hard about that. Just don't touch my makeup. I remember when I tried to help you with your makeup and you ran after me with a brush. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Move your ass. Let me tell you about the day today. It's All gonna right. be exciting. What is on the schedule? We actually have a Christian band coming in. They're a Latina music band. They have a huge showcase with okay. their record executive. Mm -hmm. And they actually want to go to a more mainstream look. Okay. Basically, they want to like drop the Bible and pick up Rolling Stone. Fantastic. You know. I'm excited about meeting two divine. I just hope that they're not too conservative because nothing in here spells conservative. It's all glitter and glam. Hello. Hi. Hi. We're two divine. Oh, very nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Alexa. I'm January. Annabelle. Annabelle. Marcy. Marcy. You guys remind me of Sleeping Beauty where they're like Princess Fauna, Princess <laughs> Flora, and Princess Merryweather. <laughs> I am really excited meeting Two Divine. I just hope they understand that making the transition from Christian pop to mainstream pop is going to be difficult. I just hope they can remember, let go and let glam. Tell me a little bit about yourselves. So we're um, a pop rock group that does Latin music, and we really want to merge into the mainstream. You know, for me, I I'm a person that needs like a springboard, you know what I mean? Like, if I can give any sort of artistic input, I need to know what I'm working with. So could I get like a little, uh, sure. can you give me a little oh, number? Yeah. Intimacy. Oh. I want to go meet up with you. We actually have an important showcase coming yeah, up. Showcase is important. Yeah. An important um, 
music representative of a, a recording company is gonna be there. We've always been singing in Spanish and kind of doing what our, our parents would like, but now that we're growing up, we're putting our foot down and kind of saying, we would love to transition from Christian pop into the English and American kind of mainstream pop world. We have different styles, but we really need to merge them, and that's a little difficult for us. Yeah, yeah I'm the one that's more comfortable, like showing my chest area, a little bit of legs, you know? A little bit of spin. You're the one who's gonna go solo in a few years. You're ginger spice of the group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I think that that's great. I think that that's awesome. I think that if you find a look that you like, then own it and love it. And if people are gonna judge you, then maybe they should be looking at themselves because he who is without sin should throw the first stone. You're young, you're vibrant, and I do think that we should really get these looks polished. You guys are trying to make the transition to mainstream. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put together some ideas that I think would work for you. Something that's gonna unify all of you and exemplify your personalities. Great, sounds, sounds great. great. It was so nice meeting you Thank guys. You. Thank you. I love your hair, by the way. I'm totally gonna cut it off you and put it on my head. <laughs>
before I when I before I went to work, I woke up, I go in my closet, all my makeup is clean, it's put away, it's organized, and it wasn't even I couldn't even find anything. Hey, but I came home, there was stuff everywhere. Starbucks cups underneath the couch, makeup all over the floor. Sarah, first of all, I'm I not thought... a freaking cup on. I don't put Starbucks cups under the couch. Rue then probably grabbed Rue... it and was chewing it. Rue jumped inside the garbage, grabbed a Starbucks cup, put it underneath the couch, Danny, and hit me. it there. Danny, listen so you're, to me. You're Danny, listen to me. I'm not really a person to wear like bright colors. I'm apprehensive, it's a little short. I'll wear right, that with right. something under it. Thought you were ready to be a rocker. I'm just butting heads on certain things. I'm gonna be their relationship counselor. This whole living together needs to go. Jumped inside the garbage, grabbed a Starbucks cup, put it underneath the couch, Danny, and hit it there. Danny, listen to me. So you're, you're Danny, listen the room. to me. Danny, listen to me. You blessed oxygen to your brain. So but I this can't is clean. an entire. So no, I'm not saying that you limits. can't clean. I'm can't not clean. saying that you're clean. I'm saying that you I organize all my makeup and it disorganized me. There's a system to my madness. It's the tools of my trade. It's what I do. It's the way I translate my artistry to the world. And all I want to do is have my stuff in my area. And you shouldn't get anxiety. Just don't go in my closet. This is ridiculous. This is Oh my god. Oh, hey. hi. Rue, what's come up? inside. Rue, come inside. What's up, Danny? What's up, John? How are you? Good, how are you? Uh -huh. Good. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm going to finish my work. I'll, I'll talk to you in a little bit, all right? I stopped by Alexa's apartment because she forgot her airbrush machine at work. And I realized that the room is oozing with tension. I feel like I just walked into a bar without knowing all my ex-boyfriends were gonna be there. I just wanna go home. She's brought in this entire cross trainer. This thing is driving me crazy. It's like a freaking sacrifice table. I mean, maybe this is like too soon. I'm not gonna argue like this. We haven't even been dating that long and it's like, I feel like Oscar and Felix. Like he is cleaning like nobody's business and it's like, I, I, I can't live like this. Maybe I don't like polish every plate with vinegar and water like he does, but I'm not a slob. I think Alexa is overreacting. Okay, fine, he likes to be really organized and he likes to be really clean. It's better than living with, like, a pig. At this point, I'm rooting for Danny because he is the most perfect guy for Alexa. She's never had a relationship like this and they can't let go of each other. So for my own sanity, I have to help Danny figure out a way to deal with Alexa. I just feel like my whole world is changing. I'm a, I'm a safe person that lives in my safe bubble. I'm a hamster. I have my food here, I have my water here, I have my hay here. And now it's like some other hamster has come in and now they have their food bowl and everything else. And I feel like I'm just like shaking in a corner. Hold on, just one second. I understand. You're just really stressed out now because things are going crazy at the Grand Factory. You're living with someone. You've never, ever lived with anyone before. This is not a mansion. This is... But this is an apartment. Exactly. It's and not he... gold gym. It's one piece of equipment. I'm sure you guys are going to be fine. You just need to, like, just relax a little bit more. Danny is a great guy, but something has got to give. Maybe I could smudge the place, burn some lavender oil, and light his cross trainer on fire? Because I'm not living like this. I'm going to go. All right, I'm getting out of line of fire. And all this gym talk, I'm going to go eat fast food now. So thank you. you know, these girls have a big showcase coming up that's going to drive them towards mainstream. So this is where we have to focus all of our energy. Two Dubai needs that edge. I really want to focus on unleashing their inner glamazon, letting the parts of themselves that they're really holding back explode out of them. Whatever it is that we could do to make them own these looks so that when they get on stage and they're doing a, you know what I mean? They feel okay with their thighs. Do you know what I mean? We're glamorists. Yeah. Like therapists, yeah. but glamorists. Yeah. Glamour, what are you thinking for clothes? I'm thinking I can call some of my friends who do great customs mm -hmm. and maybe we can get some customs made, something like that. That's, awesome. that's fun. Hair, Briella, Shari, what are you guys thinking? Yeah, I really like the curls, but on stage, it's to be over the a top, lot yeah. bigger. Maybe I say, wig. like if they had, you know, an over the top, even if you needed a wig to do it, like no, almost one wig, two wigs, right. just to get the volume that we need. We had 
something where it was like these crystally driplets coming onto the forehead and boom, 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 boom into the hair. I like the wild, yeah, sexy hair. Exactly. Makeup. I'm thinking when you're on stage, you're flooded with light. You have to pop. So I'm thinking that Beyonce glow. Even like put on big sunglasses and a bold lip. Right. If you guys have any questions, just let me know and I think that we're good to go. I'm really excited about helping Two Divine with their transition. They're going from like a Latin Christian pop to mainstream pop, which means that we're bringing in the glitter, the glam, and the skin. Good meeting. Any questions, email me. And I like your outfit. Very nice today. I'm proud of you. All right, guys, meeting adjourned. I feel like we bring a little glam to this place I with know. our sunglasses. <laughs> We need to come up with this jingle, you know? Like, we need to come up with... Like, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. No, that's a Christmas song. Um, <laughs> her laugh should be a ringtone. <laughs> I'm at the coffee shop with Jessica and A2, and we're coming up with a really, really cool jingle for the Glam Factory website. If we can get Two Divine to sing our jingle, Alexa's gonna be so impressed. After all, me and Jessica are amazing songwriters, and A2 is just kind of here to help and write notes with her lovely band. So Alexa is seriously going to be so impressed with us. We got to do this right. This can't be a, a dumb song. How about, like, Mirror Mirror in the Factory? Yeah. Who is hotter, Briella or me? <laughs> How about Mirror Mirror on the wall? Who's the glamiest of them all? I like big earrings. I like big hair. We like glitter on our underwear. <gasps> <gasps> I have underwear like that. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Write that down. Our writing is going so great. I mean, the creative juices are flowing, and our green tea juices are flowing, and I just feel like there's so much awesomeness around me that it's just, it's going to be an amazing song. We're not bad, but we're not good. Welcome to the fairy hood. So come on, let's shine with Two Divine. We'll make you look fine in record time. All right, it's winning. We have to make sure at the end we keep shouting out Alexa Prisco, Alexa Prisco, Glam Factory. Alexa is going to lose it when she hears the song because it's it's a dedication to her. Like, we're writing a song about you. It's awesome. I wish someone would write a song about me. Now all we have to do is pitch this to Divine tomorrow and hopefully they'll sing it for the website. I think they will. Glam Factory, back it up, back it up. Okay. Yeah. No, I know. Love you too. Bye. So, what happened? I just don't even know what to say to him. Like, there is a method to my madness, and I don't want to be called disorganized when I would be able to find everything in three seconds. Remember the time when I slept at your house for like a week and a half, and you kind of told me what your rules were, and I kind of said, well, yeah, and then these are my rules, too, and came to a compromise. No, because you said that these are my rules, and I said, yeah, but I'm paying for everything, and then you said, okay. And then you went back to the couch, so, eating my granola bars, watching my television underneath my blanket in my pajamas. That's true. So take the part where we talked about the rules. Oh, but actually listen to him. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So, and <laughs> okay. then you guys can come to some sort of compromise. All right. You know, Sounds set good. the rules. I really like Danny because he keeps Alexa leveled and happy. And I think collectively, the whole world appreciates that because the world is a better place when Alexa Prisco is happy. Danny is a really good guy, and maybe they can find a way to try to come up with a compromise and not to fight over something so stupid. I think once you guys compromise, everything's going to be cool. <laughs> I used to be an intern, and they sent me to go get this, like, rug for a photo shoot, but the rug was 200 pounds, and I didn't have enough money to get in a cab. So I was left on Fifth Avenue with a carpet that I couldn't carry. Oh, my God. And I just stood there and cried. Ladies, how are you? Hi, how are good. You? Two Divine is back today, and we have to make them look like a mainstream group. If they're going to impress the record executive at the showcase, they're going to have to dress the part. We need sexy. Sex sells. And I'm thinking of something a little bit rock, boho, something that'll really look good on them. You are transitioning, and we really want to make these looks identifiable and uniquely you. So that's where Glamo comes in. He is the creme de la creme. The ladies of Sue Divine have different styles. January is the rocker. 
Marcy is the sexy vixen of the group, and Annabelle, she's a little bit more conservative than the other two. So I'm gonna dress them so that their individual distinct fashion voice comes through. Today, we're gonna go through some looks for you. We're gonna find something that's going to be a mark of your transition from your Christian music career to your mainstream musical career and transition you from girls to women. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that my biggest obstacle today will be loosening the girls up and finding that level of comfort. I know the colors are just I jumping all out a person to wear like bright colors but it will probably look better on your person okay yeah. so for you this coral color swing dress is delicious we like that i i don't like showing these i'm more comfortable kind of uh covering them and just having people take notice of me for my intelligence but like i said it's going to accentuate and show that the fact that hey i'm a woman i have curves yeah okay i'll try it on you'll try it on I'll try it on we'll see that's all that i ask and for you my love try this one on when ah, isn't this delicious this is amazing that with something under it you want to, what you want to put on underneath it? A shirt. It shows the, the midsection, which is something I do not uh, want to show at all. Wow. Thought you were ready to be a rocker. That's not professional, and that's embarrassing. Never do that to me again, or you will have your wings clipped. Oh my God, you still have this up? Yeah, it's our apartment, you know? So what's the big deal? I don't understand. This thing needs to go. Isn't this delicious? This is amazing. Something under it? You wanna, what you wanna put on underneath it? A shirt. Wow. Now we've been brought to a screeching halt. Houston, we have a problem. So you don't wanna be a rocker? Thought you were ready to be a rocker? If I show too much skin, we will definitely lose all our Christian uh, fans, and that's not something I wanna lose. Like, I'm not gonna box with you, so you don't even wanna try this stuff on. I'll try. Okay, good. I am worried about the clothes that I pull for these ladies because their hesitancy and just how reluctant that they've been to try new things has me a little bit nervous. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. I actually expect it to be a little shorter. I'm actually pretty comfortable in it. I like it. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? What is going on with the tank top underneath? Can we slip this off for two seconds, no. please? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We're in for a bumpy ride, ladies. January is robbing me of my creative uh, reins. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. You better break the room up. I love it. Yeah, she looks hot. I you look it. hot. I definitely think this is a great <laughs> look, and I didn't even think I would like it. Hello, come on over. Look at the wall. Look at all of this voluminous body, this luscious body that we've like discovered. It. I love it. The girls are actually coming around, surprisingly enough. Hey, girl. Oh, I love it. They're responding well to color. They're responding well to showing a little bit of skin. You like this? Yeah. yeah color. I, I don't like, I love. Two Divine's look is a work in progress. It's not quite there yet, but it damn sure looks better than what it did when they started. I like this. I didn't think it was going to look this good. These outfits are a good jumping off point, but I want to push these girls even further. So I need Two Divine to really put themselves out there. At some places, like mental institutions, they don't encourage you to have two distinct personalities. But I feel like you guys need an alter ego, a more powerful version of yourself. Like when Beyonce on stage turns into Sasha Fierce. She loves Jesus and she loves her thighs and she's doing this all over the stage. I want you guys to feel comfortable in your bodies and realize that on stage, we want you to look like a young, fabulous group of girls, not the opening of Sister Act, okay? I feel like my alter ego could be my rap name, Breezy M Baby. I mean, why shouldn't Two Divine, you know, have their own alter egos? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brainstorm with you guys. I wanna figure out who each of you are. Because if I don't know who you are on the inside, then I cannot properly translate it on the outside. Marcy, what are you thinking for this alter ego? I kind of like like the Girl Friday type of thing. What's that mean? 
It was like secretary-ish, like hot, but... Like Van Halen's hot for the teacher? Mm. What are some words that you like? Come on, like, what is it? You're I am furious. So you're angry. That's good. You're furious. I like that word. Uh, Show me how you walk when you're furious. Walk. Pew, pew. Oh, OK, Miss Furious. That's the way I walk. When you're walking, I hear your footsteps, and I see flames bursting up. Your nickname is going to be fire. Attitude is fire. You're angry. You're furious. You're passionate. You're sexy. All those things describe you. January, let's talk. Well, I, I get this energy, this vibe when I get on stage. Show me what it's like when you step on stage and you lose control and like, what do we come to see? Well, I come onto the stage and I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah, oh. I have chill bumps right now, like, that was good. Now we need to get this alter ego to match that. I would like to call myself Jan Electra. Or J Electra. J Electra, there you go. Yeah. Okay, Annabelle, I think that my life is like a stage and I am outspoken and especially when I'm on stage, I'm way more confident than I am in day-to-day -day life. So something glitzy, something glamorous, something Broadway, that's me. You have a romper on. You are romping down the runway. What about Miss Romp? Miss Romp, I like that. I love it. Miss Romp, J Electra, and Fire. I think that you will really start to become these people. And I think that that's what's going to help Glamo with this clothing. It's really important that Two Divine gets into channeling these alter egos because that's what's going to give them the confidence they need. And it's that confidence and showmanship that's really going to impress the record executive at their showcase. Now that I know what your bounds are and, and what your level of comfort is, I am going to go out and I'm going to shop for some more things. All right, guys, we'll regroup. So go take this stuff off. Uh, Riel and I had a question for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, we were thinking that we kind of want to write like a jingle for like the Grand Factory website, you know, okay. and if we wanted to be like a surprise for Alexa, and we don't Aww, want to tell her. Cute. And it'd be amazing if you guys could sing it. You okay. could like tweak it and like, you know, give us any tips or if you, you know, want to. But I mean, we're going to sing it for you, but you could probably sing it a little bit better, you know? Maybe, <laughs> you never know. Let's well, see what you guys got. Brianna, Jessica, Glam Factory. What? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the glamiest of them all? When you come to the factory, it's like you hit the lottery. Come on, let's shine with two divine. <laughs> the song might be random, but we do have a point. Come get hot at the glam fairy joy. Glamming. John and I walk out, and what do I see? Two of my employees cornering my client. I am so sorry. I have very few rules, but one of them is that the fairies are not supposed to solicit my clients in any sort of way. This is humiliating. I do not treat my clients like this. Have a wonderful night, ladies. Thank you. OK? <laughs> Thank you. John, would you I'll please see you them out? out? Yeah. OK. Let's go. Are you guys out of your mind? that's not professional, and that's embarrassing. Never do that to me again, or you will have your wings clipped. Do you understand? This really sucks. I bet you if Alexa knew we were writing a hit song for the Glam Factory website, she wouldn't be so pissed off right now. Whatever. OK? All right. Thank you. These girls seem to never learn, and my job is never done. Now I know how the president feels. It's literally a nonstop job. What was that? You don't even want to know. You OK? I'm exhausted. I'm going to go home. You need a massage. Can you please do yourself a favor and treat yourself? Yes. Are you going to go right now? Yep. Hasta la vista. Hi. Hey, John, what's going on? Not much. How are you? Yeah. Alexa's is at work. No, she's not. I sent her to a massage. I actually came here to see you. This is an epic moment. I'm going to make it my personal mission to be their freelance relationship counselor.
Sometimes it's tough for me to deal with Alexa. This is gonna only help their relationship in the future. Oh my God, you still have this up? Yeah, what do you think? I don't even know what it really is. It's a cross trainer. Is it, is it plugged in? Can I use it? Yeah, there's a cord in the back. Where is it? No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> so, I was talking to Alexa, and it's just that when I first met her, if someone could have given me like some tips, I would have appreciated it. I bet. Alexa is basically like that really hot, popular electronic device that you really, really want. And when you get it, you don't know how to use it. And I'm the manual that comes along with it. So how are you guys doing? Like, what's going on? We're just butting heads on certain things, you know? The thing with her is that you kind of have to ease her into like this whole living together situation. She's never had it before. So she's learning along the way, you okay, know? Okay, makes sense. What do you suggest I could do for her? I mean, okay. I don't know. Like, she loves space. Maybe you should think of a way where she can have her space and you can have your space, you know? And it'll be cute. Absolutely. You know? And don't get like his or her towels. He should do something where he knows a part of the apartment is his and a part of the apartment is Alexa's. Because Danny can't touch Alexa's makeup again and actually live through it. And I'm not saying it's because she's my best friend, but this thing needs to go. Wait, 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 wait. Look what I did. Oh my God. Do or die right now. I'm exposing as much skin as January is comfortable with. January is gone. And I'm not saying it's because she's my best friend, but this thing needs to go. This is like the one item that I have for myself. You know, it's our apartment, you know, and this piece of equipment makes me feel like that. So what's the big deal? I don't understand. You can't just like bring over like a nice like three-piece suit and just hang it in the closet. I have those in the closet, Jim. Oh, so see, you do have stuff here. So, do you think you can maybe get rid of this, perhaps? We'll see. I mean, I might, right. I might not, but, you know, I'll think about it. All right, well, if you need something to make yourself feel more at home, I could tell my mom to make cookies or something. All right, that well, helps. you let me know. I'm not gonna tell Alexa that I came here to talk to Danny. I'm just gonna keep it to myself. Thanks for stopping by, man. No I problem. It. Hopefully Danny understands where I'm coming from, and hopefully this could all be done and over with, and Danny and Alexa will be back to normal, and I can have my sleepovers there again. Take it easy, man. You too. Wait, 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 What? Hold on. What? Wait, 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 stay here. Come here, I got a surprise for you. Come here. <laughs> Ready, one foot after the other. I know, but I Walk a little faster. Mine. One, two, three. Look what I did. Oh my God, it's gone. Yeah, listen, Look babe. what you did. I know, I know. <laughs> Well, my friends call me DZ, so this is my DZ zone. I moved the cross training machine downstairs, so now I have my own personal workout space over here with my workout ball, a couple of free weights, and now we have more space in the apartment. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would make you happy. I'm so happy that Danny took down the cross trainer. The best part is that he went through all this, put a smile on my face. I think that we have a really nice long future ahead of us. Come on, we have to do this one more time. No. Come here. You ready? Rue, get out of the way. You ready? One, two, three. This is your own personal space for you. I'm never gonna come in here. I'm never gonna touch it. Look, you I'm, guys it's, so messy, like I left it. It's gonna be off limits, so you can come in here and throw your makeup brushes all over the floor and know exactly where they are, and I won't touch anything. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, baby. Today's the day of our big show, and I'm really nervous, and I usually don't get nervous before shows, but I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> Have some iced tea. I made Thank it for you guys. You. Ooh. There's some chocolate Did you make pretzels. Iced tea, oh, sweet. Sweet. <laughs> like It was wine just the wine. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. not iced tea. What is it? Raspberry iced tea. 
It's raspberry iced tea. Iced tea is brown. No, it's not. It's flavored iced tea. <laughs> Let me set you guys up with your Thank stations. You. Jenner, you're going to be starting with Shari first. Annabelle, you're with Briella. Marcy, you're with Jess. Two Divine has their showcase tonight. And this is our chance to really nail down the look and parallel their inner divas. It's do or die right now, and I really hope that we can find the look they love. So today we have a huge day, and I'm really excited to be a part of this because I think that this is going to be amazing. I want to channel your inner Jersey girl. It's not matching the sheen of the underbelly. Underbelly? That's like a fish. <laughs> this. Are you ready to take a look? Yes! Take a look. Oh my gosh. Alexa, want to see the finished product? This looks incredible. You look so glowing. Jess, you nailed it. Thank you. You really did. These girls are only going to have a few minutes to impress the record executive at their showcase. I'm really hoping that Glamo found a look that Too Divine is going to like. The last time that we saw one another, you didn't love your look. So I reshopped it. And I went out looking for something that I knew would pop on the stage. These girls need to realize nobody wants to be average. Nobody needs to be normal. So we're taking like 10 steps forward. So I present to you Exhibit A. Ooh, I like. You like this? Yes. I'm exposing as much skin as January is comfortable with. This gives her a sexy look without stripping away all of the confidence that she needs while she's on stage. Oh my God. You just gave me goosebumps. Oh, it looks so nice. I love it. I love this look. I was a bit nervous about, you know, the final look, but I love the hair. I love how the outfit fits on me, and I feel great. I'm ready to hit the stage. That's all I ask, honey. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, look, who's that? <laughs> look at you. It's wrong. You look amazing. Thank you. I really love the dress. It's not something vulgar, and it's not something that gives off the wrong message. Even if there are a few fans that don't like it, um, I like it. Hello! Oh! Who is that? Who is like fire. Of course, because you are fire. I love that the skirt, you know, it shows the legs, and then the top is very kind of conservative. It really is a performance look, and I love it. You guys look so amazing. Fire, I really think that you got what you wanted. I mean, you are in a leather corset. I feel like we look like a group, and we each stand out in our own way. January is gone. This is Jay Electra. I think that all three of us look great together. Alexa helped us find our alter egos, and that transition to mainstream is going to be way easier for us. Tonight, we're all going to be in the audience. I really think that you're going to get a record deal, because anybody Seeing girls looking like this saying no, it would be insane. And you guys need to get off to this amazing showcase. Get out of here. Bye, Bye guys. playing in Kenny's Castaways, and it's a legendary kind of rock club that a lot of bands have started in. And we, we're used to playing in churches, so we're really concerned because we're not going to be in our comfort zone anymore. This is a mainstream setting where there's different bands and people who like different things. Hey, there's like so many people. Imagine who, which one of the guys are the producer. Welcome to the stage, Two Divine! Now this is getting me a little bit nervous. Are we really going to be able to do this? We're playing in Kenny's Castaways, and it's a legendary kind of rock club that a lot of bands have started in. And we, we're used to playing in churches, so we're really concerned because we're not going to be in our comfort zone anymore. This is a mainstream setting where there's different fans and people who like different things. Yeah, see, there's like so many people. Imagine who, which one of the guys are the producer. Which one is it? I'm nervous today because um, we're performing with our ultra egos, and the stakes are huge, and uh, everything is riding on this performance. I gotta look so crowded. No, it does. I'm scared to be fired for like the first time. It's kind of scary. 
I have to keep reminding myself that today I'm not Annabelle, I'm actually Miss Rom, and that I really have to be fierce on stage and just fearless. Because one of the people that's gonna be there today is Ian Wheeler. He works for uh, Partisan Records. If he likes our makeover, um, then he might just get us a record deal and book us some tour dates, which is super important. I think we can do this. <laughs> How's everything with Danny? It's so good. Like, he designated two spaces. So, one for, like, my stuff, which is, like, Glamazonia. Aww. And then one that says, like, DZ, keep out. What's that? Which is, like, where his workout equipment is. So, it's, like, these two neutral spaces. And then the rest of it is, like, you know, obviously, like, a safe zone. Like, the rest of the house is ours. It's like he gave you, like, your own little litter box. No. But with like really clean stuff in it. Yeah. That's so cute. Cute. Right? I knew he was perfect. <laughs> Wait, I told you. Hey. Only someone perfect could think of something like that to resolve it. I'm so happy that Danny is sticking around. I feel like we all just got a second chance at life because now Alexa's gonna be a lot happier, so we get to move on from this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage True Divine. <laughs> Process, I think I really had a big change. I really got in touch with my alter ego. I love the final look. I think it really personifies Miss Rom. I'm thankful for this experience. I like Star and the Glam Fairies, and it really empowered me to be this alter ego, and I love it. Oh, 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 oh. This look is totally different than what we had before for our, our look. They just did an amazing job and I couldn't have asked for anything better. The whole time we're performing, I'm just scanning the crowd to see where these record label producers are. And I'm just worried, are they here? You know, did they leave? Not only does True Divine look amazing and sound amazing, but somehow they've channeled their alter egos so that they've become them on stage. It's like the transformation happened right before me. So before we continue, I just want to give a huge thanks to the whole Glam Squad. Thank you guys so much. We love you, you know? We got to know you in such little amount of time, so thank you so much. We also have a little surprise, surprise. for Jessica and Briella. They wrote this jingle that they wanted us to sing, and now we have our version of it. So here it goes. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the glamiest of them all? We like big ears and we like, like big, big hair. hair. We wear glitter on our underwear. underwear. <laughs> the mall that shine, we're too divine. We'll make you look fine in record time. Welcome to our fairy hood. That was so great. I mean, Good to meet you. Hi, I'm Good to meet you. I really dig your sound and I really dig your look, and I'd love to have you come play Knitting Factory sometime. Yeah. It means a lot to us. Yeah. Who would be the one we've been working for, you know? So that means a lot. Tonight was a success. Ian loved us. We did it. We did it. We did a great job. Um, everyone loved our music. You guys did such an amazing job. I mean, I'm just like, the way you perform, you look amazing. I'm just. I'm so proud, I'm proud. The record executive loves to divine. They look like pop stars ready to take on the pop world by storm. And I couldn't be happier for them. It was amazing. I can't think you would. Let me give you another hug. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> to find out more about the Glam Fairy, go to mystyle.com.